Good morning, welcome to the Yarn Genie Studio. Here we are looking at making up Dan the Donkey. Isn't he gorgeous? Um, he, he will stand up. Look, he stands on his own. His beautiful little donkey with a lovely tail. He's got a nice short mane. And then he sits down and watches me while I work with his little doleful expression on his face. So when we knit up Dan, you've got the pattern and this is what you will knit. And somehow it doesn't quite look very Dan the Donkey like. But this does all work. What we'll do is we're going to roll up each of these. This is one of his back legs. Here's the other back leg. This bit will become the body. Here you've got two front legs, just sit like that. And this bit in the middle, you've got this hole. This is what you created when you knitted halfway across and cast on some extra stitches. Uh, and then there's some increases up the neck here. What does is that gets squished up together, that gets gathered, and it will pull the head up to make it sit up. This is the top of his head and his white muzzle here. So it does all come together to make a beautiful Dan the Donkey. Oops, stay there, sweetheart. Good boy. Um, so what you'll also need to get ready is you're going to need a good amount of wool for sewing up. Um, oh, here are his ears that we knitted separately. Um, those are going to get sewn on later. Uh, you'll need some scissors, some nice needles with some big wide holes if, you'd, if you've got thick wool. Um, and this stuffing, you'll need quite a lot of stuffing. This is washed and carded fleece. It's pure wool. It makes lovely stuffing. Uh, but you can use polyester or um, synthetic stuffing if you prefer. And you can, of course, knit Dan in any size. This was knitted on six millimetre needles with nice chunky yarn. You'll see it's very tight. It's made quite a tight fabric. And that's because I don't want the stuffing to show through when we make it up. So I always recommend knitting in a bit, a slightly smaller needle size than is recommended for your size of yarn. But you can use any, any needle size, any yarn that you like. And so you're piece of dam that you're sewing up may be bigger or smaller than this and that's all fine. So we're going to sh start by sewing up one of Dan's back legs. So here is the back leg piece and we need to roll it around so we've got the right side that the smooth side facing outwards and we're going to start with either a yarn tail or a new fastened on piece of yarn. We're going to work in stocking stitch so it's, this is rolling a little bit. If, if your piece of down is rolling a little bit too much, don't worry. I do suggest you actually just block it very lightly if that helps you. So I'm just going to wrap it around my finger here and I move it, going to just fasten this across. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do a mattress stitch. Now this is explained in the technique section of the pattern. But essentially we're just going to pick up two threads of our knitting so that's the sort of the top of the V of one side and I know this is not going to show up terribly clearly on this video um, as I say so do look at the pattern and then we go across and we pick up two threads here can you see that's the start of a stitch on that side and Joe's coming in so close with the camera here that actually I'm, I'm almost watching this on the screen it's quite fun um, so anyway we come back here and we're going to pick up another two threads this side and you don't need to worry about making it completely tight as you go up not at this stage anyway so I'm just moving it across you can almost see my new stitches there but I'm going to tighten those in a minute so I'll just do a few of these three stitches there Oops. so what we've got there can you see it's starting to make a little tube and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this really tight there and you see that closes it up and to be honest you can't really see too much of a seam it's almost perfect which is really what we're aiming for okay so here we've got the first leg sewn up this is done up with mattress stitch so you can see there it's quite neatly joined the two together so in the technique section of the pattern you will find a whole page on mattress stitch with lots of photographs so have a look at that and see how it goes and that will help you make this nice neat seam. Now you can see we've sewn up to the top of his crotches so where the body that's where the flat piece comes out 
um, meets the top. So we've sewn that together. And at this stage, we haven't actually sewn up the bottom of his foot. That's still open. Um, and I'm going to sew that up in just a moment now. So I'll show you why I've left it separately. Now I am going to leave, leave this yarn tail floating around because to be honest, we may well use that bit later. We often need a bit more yarn as you go along um, for sewing other parts of his body. So rather than cut them off and rejoin new ones, I tend to just leave these floating around and then use them a bit later. But now we're going to sew up the bottom. Now the reason we do this separately is because we want to try and make his hoof as flat as possible at the bottom. Um, so I'm not going to gather it. What I'm going to do is sew it across in a kind of darning-like motion. So I'm just going to take the very edge of his hoof and I'm going across, right across each time. And then we're going to go across here. I'll sort of go backwards and forwards. You can see I'm sort of kind of darning this across the bottom of his foot, which if done in the same yarn will be completely invisible. So I'm not pulling these very tight, I'm just darning them across to make sure all the holes are covered up with some thread. And you can actually weave this in and out to make it even more secure. And then you can do this if you can get a finger in it but you can push it down and have a look at you can you see how that's actually come up quite flat so what I don't want to get is something that's too rounded or pulled in I want to just get it as flat as possible and that just helps Dan stand up and also look a little bit more donkey like because they don't have rounded hooves they have flat hooves whoops and I'm going to cut that bit off before we don't use that again all right um so the next job that we're going to do sorry Quick adjustment to the studio set up here. Um, we are going to start stuffing this. Um, and so we're going to get hold of some of our fleece and we're going to start working with that. So we take a piece of fleece and I'm just, just sort of stretching that out to flatten it a bit. And then what I want to do is stuff these legs really, really firmly. Um, I mean, you can't really feel that in the video, but this is actually really quite firm. And the reason for that is it does help Dan stand up and have a little bit more rigidity about him. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna roll it really tightly. I'm just folding the edges in. And there we go. Roll it. Dee, 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 dee. So he's really tight there. And then I'm gonna start to stuff that down the leg like this and what you actually need is a pencil one with a rubber or a blunt end to it and then you can use that to actually push this fleece right down and you see how all that's been swallowed up inside inside his leg there you go so that's only come up to there now that was quite a large piece of fleece and it's just stuffed up to there so I'm going to put another bit in to the top of that and again, we're going to roll that again. I don't think I needed a bit more for that. I'll put another bit around. Roll it up. So if you get it quite tight, and then you shove it in. And that I can stuff with my finger. So what we're doing is we're going to sew up and stuff each leg in turn. So you want to get it like this. You've got a nice round leg and this is quite solidly stuffed and that will help him stand up. So flat bottom, sewn up neatly and solidly stuffed. So we're going to do that with all four legs. That's the first task. So we've sewn up each of the four legs for Dan the donkey. You can see they've been firmly stuffed. Here's a bit of stuffing roll that's poking out of the top of each of them. And I've left some of my yarn tails here because I think we're going to use them for a bit more sewing up. But having done the legs, the next bit we're going to work on is his head. So we're trying to do all the extremities first and then we'll stuff up the body in the, at the last section. So here I've got, um, this is actually the yarn tail which I threaded up. So I'm going to fold his head in half here. So we've got the muzzle, the white section down here. And then again we're going to use a mattress stitch now to just sew up along his the this is like the front of his nose here. So I'm going to again pick up these two stitches here. Oops, there we go. And then we go over the other side 
and pick up those same first two stitches and then we come back and pick up the next two stitches and then the next two stitches here so this again is just mattress stitching and as you see if we pull those tight every couple of stitches you can see how that's pulling those together and makes a nice neat seam so the middle of his nose here's Dan and he looks relatively seamless as it were so this is the seam that we're doing here just this top one so we're going to stitch this together and then we're going to come back and we'll use these white yarn tails just to stitch again with mattress stitch all the way around his muzzle here it's a white bit so this is the next stage just stitch this piece and then all around the muzzle so here's Dan's uh, face and muzzle sewn up here and as we stuff this this will flatten out quite a lot but before we do any stuffing here what we're going to do now is sew up this hole at the back of his neck you can see this is now the back of the neck and that's sort of flopping forwards so what we're going to do is run a thread around the rim of this and pull it tight and what that's going to do is pull up his head like that so I'm just taking this thread again and I'm not just going sort of slightly loosely around this but I'm picking up bits of stitches as we go and just giving it a little tug this isn't the strongest of yarns so I don't want to go all the way around and then tug it there we go. helps if we don't have a knot so you can see we're pulling this up to tighten it and get around here and right back down to the bottom and then I'm going to give that a little tighten as much as we can there, can you start to see so we pull the hole together and that's starting to now pull his head up and make a neck and I'm going to just fasten this off and just neaten it a bit but that's the basic principle there is that you gather that hole so that it's no longer a hole it's now a tight gather and that pulls up the head so we've sewn up this hole at the back of the neck and flattened that out and the next stage is to start sewing up this section of the neck and his back area uh, we're going to leave the underbelly until the very last so here I've picked up one of my um, yarn tails that I knew would come in handy for something and the first thing I'm going to do is is join these two legs together so at the top of the legs here I'm going to use a few stitches to just securely make this seam start oops pulling that through quite tight there we go so that's joined these two legs together and I'm now going to again use, I'm still using my mattress stitch, which is just the really the best stitch for sewing up anything really. Always like a mattress stitch if we can possibly use one. Um, and we're just going to sew all the way up essentially what is his bottom. Um, but as we get towards the top, we want to make sure that we don't have a pointy bottom that's sort of where the tail's going to be and if we just sew it straight up all the way it will get a little pointy at the top so just a couple more stitches and then what we'll do is we'll start moving our sewing line in a bit so now it's in instead of going to the edge here I'm just going to come in a bit further this time and I'm going to go in a bit further into the fabric now so what that's going to do is start rounding rounding his bottom feels very inelegant sewing up these bits but you see how I'm coming in several stitches from the edge of the fabric and in fact I'm going to just tuck that in so what we're trying to achieve you see there is a sort of rounded bottom so now I'm just going to pick up from here and just close that up as a whole. There we go. And in fact, I can poke that. I'm just going to poke that into the inside. 
but there if you have a look here now can you see that his bottom is nice and rounded rather than and if you'd gone straight up the edge it kind of points out and becomes a bit pointy so we've just rounded it off like that so I'm just going to make this fast inside and then I'm going to sew up his neck this will be the next section okay so we just we've sewn up the back we're now going to sew up these two front legs so again another handy yarn tail that was floating around we're going to use that let's pull that together so we're just making fast the top of the legs so that they're securely joined and then we move on again with the mattress stitch so we're now stitching up this hole underneath this is his neck he's the front of his neck and uh, I think I'm going to run out of yarn here but you can see where we're going so I'm just doing the mattress stitch and working our way up here so here we've sewn up Dan under the neck here and he'll sew at the back and just to show you how firmly his legs are stuffed look he actually will even stand up at this stage um, nice and secure on these lovely stuffed legs but clearly his body needs a bit more stuffing and now is the time to do it so we've still got his underside is open and the first thing we want to do is get as much stuffing as we can really stuff quite firmly all the way down into his head so you've got to squish that up and push it right down into his muzzle nice and firmly small bits this is lovely fleece this. oops oh sorry Dan knocking them over what are we going to call the second Dan we've got Dan the donkey and a new Dan the donkey Daniela Dania ah oh, Daniela oh oh they might make little they might make little dans wouldn't that be fun we could have little <laughs> tiny dans running around well, I quite like the idea of that so to do that you just knit them in a in a finer yarn on a smaller needle and little tiny dans could be yours that would be good so I'm getting this stuffing up you can see how his head is now starting to take shape and he's got this kind of what would you call it? The sort of the corner look, which actually is what makes donkeys' heads different from horses. Horses don't have this kind of bump at the top of the head. Um, but imagine his eyes are going to be here, his mane will go down there, the ears will stick up here. And that's where we make him. Now, <clears throat> keep stuffing the neck quite firmly. Uh, otherwise, he can get very floppy in the neck and that doesn't help him stand up and look very donkey-like at all. Um, look very dejected a bit more eeyore like maybe um so here we go we're just stuffing his neck so it's like give him plenty of stuffing into the neck and up to the top of the legs like that and then we're going to just carry on um stuffing into the back now and we're really nearly there look how much stuffing gets eaten up into it though you always need quite a lot more than you think you do. I'm pushing all that in. One last, one last handful should do it. Just when you think you can't get any more in, you probably can. But having got that as reasonably tightly stuffed, um, you should be able to then pull the underside across and again we're going to mattress stitch that close that's the last seam of Dan so make sure he's very firmly stuffed through the neck actually I might even put can you see that slightly squidgy there I might put a little bit more in there and then we'll sew up his underside so having stuffed and sewn up Dan now he's now his body is all complete and so we're going to start working on his head and of course his tail and his mane so I'm just going to sew up the yarn tail so this is the yarn tail from the pointed end of the ear and I'm just going to sew that in uh, just to get rid of it because we don't need that one anymore and cut that off and now you've got an ear with this is the cast on yarn tail leave that one there because we'll use that for sewing on 
And so what I'm doing now is I'm going to use some pins. We're just going to pin on his ears. We'll pin on the other ear. And then using maybe some black pins, we'll start to put in something to say, oh, well, this is where his eyes are going to be. I don't have another black one. Let's use a blue one. Um, so all you want to do is just start, oh, that's a bit too far forward. We'll just move that back. So you can play around with his ears and his eyes just to get a feel for where you think they should go. When you've decided on that, use the yarn tail from his ears to sew his ears on. And then we get a little bit of black yarn and we're going to sew in his eyes. Just a few, this is chunky yarn, same sort. And I think three stitches is all that's required to make a good looking eye. Donkeys have kind of almond shaped eyes. Um, so just have a go at the ears and the eyes next. So as you sew on the ears, here's a little tip to help get them standing upright and facing forward. Um, and you want them to be bringing in the, the top of the head. So what I do with my last bit of thread is I'm actually sewing between the ears like this all the way through the head um, and pulling that tight. So you can do that a couple of times with your yarn and that just helps these ears to stand upright and forward and just narrow slightly the top of the head which just helps give a little definition to his face. So here we are sewing on the eyes for our donkey and adjusting the second eye here so kind of three big stitches there, so roughly underneath the ears, looking forward. And then when you get to the last bit, to finish this off, try and poke the yarn in, take your needle through to a different area. And then if you actually just pull that slightly tight, snip it off and then it disappears back into your donkey arm. Um, buried in the stuffing now never to be seen again and that should work so there we are so we have our donkey we've got his face going and his ears and we're now ready for a mane and a tail so here we go we're starting now to put on the tail and the mane so to put on the mane I've cut some little pieces they're sort of five to six centimeters long because donkeys have quite short manes little mohicans really uh, and what we're going to do is we're just working down this back line of stitches along the back of the head. So I'm putting the crochet hook in and I'm using a carpet knot to secure them. So we're pulling the main through and then looping that through again. So you've just got that little loop to secure it. Pull that nice and tight and that will stay there. Let's just do another one. Show you again. So we're going through with the Find a little piece of thread, fold it in half, pulling that through and then again taking those last two tails through and we can pull that nice and tight. So carry on working that all the way down the back and uh, again with the tail I've used exactly the same thing, carpet knot. Here I've fastened three strands so they're each hanging double. So I've got six bits of yarn hanging out of his tail. Six is a good number because I'm going to make a nice little plait out of that. So I'll do that in a minute. We'll plait it up. Um, so I'm just going to carry on down the back of his neck now and finish adding hair to his mane. The Daniela donkey is uh, nearly complete now. Uh, she's got a nice long mane which we're just going to give a little trim to. So just take your scissors and you can literally trim along like this to give her that lovely tufted Mohican messy job but it's quite satisfying. My hairdressing skills are not great but there we go. So Daniela has got her little tufty, you might want to tidy that up a bit but there we go. And then the final thing is I'm going to just quickly plait her tail here. You notice how she's suddenly become female. I think Daniela's slightly stuck now, so it's now a she. So we're just going to plait, not too long, but of course you need a long-ish bit of yarn in order to keep 
plaiting and when I'm almost at the bottom I'm just going to tie tie a knot in it there we go tie a knot in the end of that trim it and there you go there is Daniela Donkey and sit alongside Dan there look what we found a little one that we made earlier so we now have a little donkey family i think we're all in love i hope you make a beautiful damn donkey <laughs>